Now, like I was saying, like I was saying, Battle Cave was never, never about me wanting to be the face. It was about me taking responsibility, taking that person, the franchise responsibility to hold down this fort. Stand Wait a minute, hold on. Against the All Star. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ray is getting Eric Royals back. Royal is thinking about it. Oh, the goons of attack. We got a bell. Oh my God. And we got a match. Doc and Gordy have come to CWF Mid Atlantic. Oh my God. Tandrak and Royal are taking. I never thought I'd see the day. He's giving him a 20 minute time limit. Oh. Uh oh. Hey, <laughs> and hey. he's got Wilkins, and there goes Wilkins out. Oh boy. No, no he's not out, but he is going to wish he was. Oh, uh, Walter saved his life. And I. Look at this team! Man, I don't even know what to make of this. The All-Stars are scurrying to the floor, but inside the ring, Ray Kandrak and Eric Royal, two former Mid-Atlantic heavyweight champions, two lifelong career rivals. They have been compared to each other since their earliest days at the Mid-Atlantic Dojo, and they are a team against the Goon Squad. And I don't know if it's a case where Ray just wants to get Eric's back, or if he just wants a piece of the All-Stars, or both. We will see how this unfolds. First time ever for Kandrak and Royal on the same team. Man. Uh -oh. Man, what a hip toss. Wilkins is not feeling good at all. Man, it, and they've got the Goose Squad just really rattled here. I mean, who wouldn't be? And you want to talk about a bad man. Oh, boy. Look at this teamwork. Oh! These two break a ring. And these oh. two are just... And we're talking about one of the best tag teams in CWF history in the Goon Squad, and they are just not able to get out of the blocks here. Absolutely. Three-time Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions. Oh. And they have caught... Well, they're destroying Wilkins here. And Eric beasting and feasting on the back. Two and... Eaton is earning his keep here, saving this matchup for Wilkins. 
time and time again. The former Mid-Atlantic, we've got four former Mid-Atlantic heavyweight yeah. champions in this matchup, but the most recent former champion is getting his arm gnawed off by the guard dog of CWF Mid-Atlantic. That's right, and I have to wonder if he's even 100% after that battle with Brad Attitude at Battle Cave. Absolutely, it, it closed our anniversary super card with a bang as those two absolutely pulled out everything in their arsenals in a fight for the Mid-Atlantic heavyweight champion attitude left as the champion and says that tonight will start the attitude era in CWF Mid-Atlantic. He will defend that championship later tonight, but finally the Goob Squad have been able to create an opening for themselves. And Wilkins, as he always does, found an opening. Oh God! But Kadrak is just basting through Walter Eaton. Yeah, he shut that opening right back up. Oh, wait, oh, it's oh, man. The goons do not know what to make of this team. And take it for me, once you take a little break like Eaton did, that first little suplex has you thinking about things. Honorable man, honorable man right here. Making sure Joey Hogan saw the tag. And you're right, this is like Doc and Gordy incarnate here. Miracle Violence Connection version two. Good Lord. Oh, second shot. Meaty thud in the chest. You know what? I don't care how tough you are, Walter Eaton. This dude, if you give him a, ch a chance to get a shot in. Eaton finally got control. Oh, boy. Oh, great move. Great move from Roy Wilkins. And all oh, the teamwork is right there on display. And, and he thinks so quickly on his feet. Double stop. Yes, sir. Ooh. We have seen the Goon Squad over the years use that double team maneuver where they hold the ropes open. One man shoots the other one through. Cover. Shoulders down. Only got about one and a half. But when Royal reversed it, Wilkins so quick to close the ropes and save his partner right there. And then both men knew exactly where the other one was and exactly what was coming. The teamwork, the precision of the Goon Squad, absolutely unbelievable. And even more unbelievable, the smarts of Roy Wilkins. And Eric Royal fighting back again. Seems like every time the All-Stars turn this thing around, I mean, these big guys just turn it right back. Over the top, not a DQ. We're old school, but not quite that old school. Now, I don't know if the coach is going to be as much of a factor on the floor as he normally will be after being pal-driven by Amy Love back at Battle King. Oh, my God, he's bad at Kandrak. And look at Chappy. And not only pal-driven, but onto a baseball helmet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Chappy may be about to die. Oh, God, Ray Kandrak's going to kill him. I think yeah, Champy's running for the hills. <laughs> the All Stars go cover here. Eric Royal got pinned off of anything that Chappy did. No, I, would, I would refund everybody's money out of your pocket. <laughs> These fans are going to be really upset. Shot to the gut here. They have finally got the ace of CWF Mid Atlantic, the guard dog. A little bit on the ropes, but man, Royal is so big and so strong. Even when you think you've got him, he still keeps coming. Man, it's just unbelievable. And these All Stars, the Goon Squad especially, always find a way. Wait, Good looking. It, it's just amazing how they always find a way to turn the match around. Good looking, Flapjack. And the teamwork once again. And that's their calling card. It's perfect. There may be no two men in the history. Cover again. There may be no two men in the history of CWF Mid-Atlantic that have worked together as a team as well as Eaton and Wilkins. I would venture to say none. None in my time here. Mm -mm. I, I cannot remember another team, maybe the Neon Lions. Why don't we get heat for that? Okay, great. They were a good team. Oh, look at that strength by Walter. Oh, claw slam. Royal catching his breath. Is he going to make it to the assassin Ray Kandrak here? And that'll be the game changer. Kandrak has been on the apron for a little while. Yes, he has. Now, Eaton, does he make the tag or does he try to stop Royal? He tagged him. 
Wilkins, oh. who's taking a beating. Oh, boy. Oh! And just saw that mash by Kendrake. Wilkins cannot throw anything at the assassin. He's like shooting a tank with a sling uh, slingshot. Michinoku driver. Drove him into the canvas. And now he's going back to Wilkins. These two, there's no two ways about it. They took the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship out of Kandrak's grasp back on December the 6th when Kandrak went to cash in the golden ticket. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, he what? didn't feel it. Swing and a miss from Roy Wilkins. I think that was a bogey. Oh, Eaton is right there, though. He went for the race. So oh, good. Oh, and that Eaton Lariat. Cover two Royals right there. That Eaton Lariat, he didn't get all of it, but he won a championship with that. Absolutely, and it, it really says something about that Lariat, that even not getting all of it, he took that big man off his feet with it. Oh! Mm, club and blow right, right to the back. back of the head. Man, where's he going with this? He's carry nope, slips out. Duck. Oh, headbutt onto Eaton. Oh man. Wow, this is a surreal. Oh, poor Roy. He took the Mid-Atlantic Championship from both of these men directly from Royal, indirectly from Kandrak, and he is paying for his sins tonight! Oh, Ray Guy! Good Lord! And we have seen, dare I say, the birth of the Mid-Atlantic Violence Connection? I like it. Oh, my God! Look at this team! I'm glad I'm retired. Nine minutes, 19 seconds. Winners by pinfall. The assassin Ray Kendrick and Eric Royal. A tense look from these two. They have exacted their revenge on the All Stars. Good grief! Everyone in CWF Mid Atlantic may want to be on notice of this powerful duo that has just been formed. between two career-long rivals. And they are going to leave as winners here at the very first event of 2015. Oh, my God! Oh, my God, Skyler! Skyler just, John Skyler just threw Royal off the ramp! Man, he just tossed him. What the hell? He struck and ran. Is Eric okay? We gotta check him here. Don't let him in the Give that microphone. Give him another Where'd he go? Let's go chase him. Where'd he go? Let's go chase him.